She threw away our life without a warning. I keep thinking for the last 11 years, I'm going to run into a girl like I met back in the 1972, right? Wrong, of course it's wrong, brother. Where did all the good men go? Where did all the good men go? Thanks for watching Water Life. Now before we get into this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to ensure that you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Guys, we have a doozy here, but I'm not gonna hold you up. Let's hop right into it. I'm happy that y'all here with me, man. Now today, I gotta talk about this. Now, I gotta talk about a brother who needs this here, right? He needs peace in his life. And this is one of those things that women in the U.S. don't talk about. They'll talk about men leaving, white men, black men, all men leaving. They try to shame us for it, but they need to shame some of these women in certain situations. Like for instance, here's a brother here who, this happens to a lot of brothers, where they're married, long periods of time, and then the wife just one day says, oh, I think things are better elsewhere right they don't talk about that but we're gonna get into it right now i'm gonna go over a quick story with you guys like pay attention to this his brother here he said i keep thinking i'm going to run into a girl over here in the usa right i mean i was married to the same woman for 30 years since 17 years old until she abandoned me grass greener on the other side of the fence right for her. Why this is happening? So, and this happens all the time. Then the woman realizes that, oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. So now she's 17, now she's 30, right? She's way past the wall. She's to the point of no return, right? And even if the only, only option for her really is to go out and get her groove back, right? That's the only option is to go out and get her groove back. She went out and go and get her groove back. Her only option really is to get a younger guy. But this brother, needs to realize that he can come, he can go to other places, he can go out to the Philippines, Thailand, he can go to, he can even go to Africa, right? Anywhere but where he's at now and get a woman that'll be cooperative that's younger. So he doesn't realize, he realizes that now, she actually did him a favor, but let's keep reading. So that's what he said. She threw away our life without a warning. I keep thinking for the last 11 years, I'm going to run into a girl like I met back in the 1972, right? Wrong, of course it's wrong, brother. I keep thinking in my mind, things are still the same. The reason why he's thinking like that is because he's been married so long. He doesn't know any, know any other way, but he's being blessed because he's on YouTube and he's looking through content. He comes across my channel. He comes across maybe someone else's channel that's talking his truth and then he realized wait a minute this is why the game is tainted in the US he realized it's really that bad back home right he realized it he said wait a minute and then he see the videos and he already feels he's going out right he's trying to talk to a woman he's, he's not 17 he's 47 now right he's 47 so he's looked at as an old dope bag and if he dated a younger woman back in the states he's seen as a pervert he's seen and then he comes over here, he's gonna be seen as a male sapien colonizer, they'll say if he's black, or if he's white, they'll say the same thing pretty much. They'll say anything to bash a guy. And when I say male sapien colonizer, I'm not talking uh, down on white people, okay? Because that's what women say. I've ever had a guy in one comment that said, Jay, <laughs> what are you talking about? What does that have to do with black and white? No, I'm not, I didn't say that. This black woman said that. Right? Now those girls, it says here, he said, uh, keep thinking in my mind, things are still the same. No wonder I'm not getting anywhere here in the States. Those girls are extinct. They are extinct. Maybe this old man should come to the Philippines. All I want to do is just live in a simple bamboo house by the sea, pretty much here, right? And have a nice wife and cook over charcoal and go fishing and swimming and eat bananas and coconuts and go to the market once in a while. And that's the beautiful thing, you know, I was just, I did a video a couple days ago 
and I show the market. That's not even a big market. They got big ones out here. This is where we get um, fresh food, non-GMO naturally. You don't got to pay extra to get non-GMO, like how you get in the States. So not only is the attitudes better and you get cooperation, you also get a woman that'll cook for you. And then you get food, you don't pay extra for non-GMO. Everything is non-GMO, you know? So that's the work. It is a little old school when you get it outside, but you still can go to the market too. I just came from the market just now. And that's how you eat, man. It's worth it. Definitely worth it for the price, also for the freshness of the food. In the beach all morning surfs, here's the waves, and then after he sells fish. I sure he had one, so yeah, that's right. <laughs> This is my wife. This is my wife. Hello, uh, wife. Uh, <laughs> hello. Hi, yes, my wife. <laughs> hey, wife. <laughs> right? I was with my wife. We were just showing some clips of the market. And I was explaining in the video how, you know, in the U.S., you got to pay so much more money for organic. You know, out here, pretty much everything is organic. You don't have watermelons this side. The watermelons are regular size. You get a watermelon this big. Sometimes they're small. You know, you get regular oranges and bananas. I was out in the States and the banana was like this big. I said, whoa, what is this Mandigo banana that they got here? We got, got out here. And I realized, and then I, I tried one. I tried a, uh, a orange, right? And I tried a, a, a garlic because it was COVID time. I, was, I went back in 2020, right? towards the end of the year. I tried a piece of garlic, the garlic had to be this big. Where I'm at now, garlic is not even the size of my fist. The garlic was this big, and when I bit into it, it didn't taste, it didn't have that, enough allicin in it, right? So, you'll be leaving the uh, land of GMO, the land of fast food, and you see it in a woman, the woman, I'm not, I hate to bash women's weight, but women are eating fast food like it's no tomorrow, and, and so overweight, so when you come here, and you can find a woman fit, feminine, and friendly. You know what's crazy? Even if the woman isn't fit, feminine, and friendly, she's still feminine and friendly. And that's for you guys. Say if you wanted to find a, a big woman, you can find it, you know? They're everywhere, really. McDonald's is everywhere. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And not every woman is perfect, but you can be in a much better situation when you leave. It doesn't have to be here in the Philippines. You can be anywhere. You can go to Thailand, you go to Brazil, you go to Colombia, you go to DR, you go to Mexico go anywhere in Africa, it's options out there. All men have options. Black, white, brown, yellow. No matter where you're from, man, this here, this is the life here when you do things like this. When you're able to go ride boats and drive boats like that, you know? Every day you wake up, you're able to be by the water. And that's when you have clarity, right? So that's what I love. Whenever I want to think openly, I come by the water. And I love to do videos by the water because my mind is just free flowing and you get into a state of flow when you're in other countries like when you cut by the water especially you get into a better state of flow and it just helps with growth and even though men may be getting older you're still growing but that's why I want to make this video to tell this brother man if you need help contact me again the black filipino at gmail.com or more to life youtube at gmail.com that's both of my channels contact me man and uh I'll point you in the right direction, but yeah, this is what's happening. Women are abandoning guys 30 years later, and it's sad because the the trick's on her. She actually, she played a mean trick on herself, right? Because she's going to be like, oh man, she's going to get out there and the same thing as him. Where did all the good men go? Where did all the good men go? They strap no ops, don't catch me, legs are dumb, my waist, I cock it back. <laughs> man, she looks like the woman. Where did all the good men go? I'm sorry, sister. You had a good man right there with you. But you let the feminazis trick you into leaving your good man. Sad situation. Now you're going to have a hard road ahead of you. And you know what? You left your man to get some cats. You left your man to get some cats or a dog. You got Frodo. You even got Frodo or Whiskers. So you left your man for, for Frodo and Whiskers. And... It's harder on you. You gotta get. You, you can get a younger stud. Yeah, you gotta pay for him though. He's not gonna have any money. But this guy, you get a woman to come out here and get a woman that actually loves him and will take care of him for the rest of his life and will smile doing it. 
Because out here, women actually like guys his age, right? I'm, I'm, I'm 41, he's 47. He'll come out here and be in his prom. Because you know why? He's gonna get here and the shoe's gonna be on another foot. Instead of him having anxieties in the States, which he realized, he's gonna come here and the woman's will have anxiety over him. And it's more competitive here, the woman. It's just better. So guys, leave the metrics now. And come to places like this. And live out the rest of your years. And if you're a young man, yeah, why not come live out the rest of your years early? That's what life is coming to now. Thanks for watching, y'all. This is where you want to be.